-hmm. and uh, who was a uh, worked in the studio system, mm -hmm. and they said that uh, he said something along the lines, "If if you know you keep this book the way it is, you're going to be the most hated man in Hollywood." Mm -hmm. Now my question for you is two parts. One, <laughs> do you feel you're the most hated man in Hollywood? And two, um, were you ever really that liked before? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, yeah. That's I don't remember people dressing up as you or something. You know, right, I, I know. I never I mean, saw the, like, uh, the like message Flo shirt giving Bart Simpson a run for the money. Well, but. It's like Florence Henderson was saying before. I mean, I did a series of books. The Golden Turkey Awards is the best known about the worst achievements yeah, in movie so history. Yeah, seems like that would make people who take themselves too serious way more angrier than, than this book. No, this book made them angrier. Did I mean, they really? Yeah, because the Golden Turkey Awards, and I've got to say this to Florence Henderson. I don't know where she is right hi, now. Oh, hi, Florence. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. We've got to be yeah. gone. <laughs> Well, good. I'm really glad to meet you because, Man. you know, you have to understand that when we put A Song of Norway uh, down as one of the worst musical extravaganzas ever made, right. we were partially responding. We had a reader's poll from a previous book and readers had written in, and I think you're, that, that picture finished 12th on the old-time list as a reader's choice of worst movies. Oh, I so. think it's so full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to... I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you that, uh, uh, you know, if, if you like the music of Edvard Grieg, I mean, which I do, uh, oh, I'm, beautiful it's beautiful and scenery and beautiful music, and it, so you, you, you were absolutely us. did. And the point about Golden Turkeys is that they're endearingly awful. You know, these are not... Endearingly awful. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that, that must be... <laughs> that's me. That's been my career. Endearingly awful. But no, I, I, I got to... Be fair with you on that too. You know, I write about Shakespeare the Clown a little bit in Hollywood. You know, I didn't want to look it up. I really didn't. <laughs> right. Honestly, I didn't yeah. want to because, like, I I really want to talk to you for a long time. When I asked right. you to be on the show, I said, "Can you please book him?" Because I'm telling you, you're my kryptonite. Like, I hear you get interviewed, and I go, I, I snap. I really, I can't tell you. I'm in, like, you're on the radio. I want to just drive into a guardrail and call you up and um, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you would. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. So, uh, guardrail. No, yeah, Shakes is in the movie, but I don't want to get into Shakes because yeah. uh, I, I got to be honest with you. When I, I you weren't my target audience when I made it. Right, I understand. I, I understand. didn't say, hey, we'll open up but with a lot know, of vomit, and Michael will really enjoy that. Listen, I got. There's one thing I agree with you on, though. I've always hated clowns too. I mean, you. I didn't hate clowns. You're scared of them. I was scared of clowns. I, I, clowns. I, I used that. Oh God, do I sound pretentious? But I was using <laughs> clowns because it's just show business in general. Right. I think stand-ups are the most pretentious group of people. But I have to live and work with them, mm -hmm. so I went after the clowns. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing: like, you have the idea of like entertainment news to me is so surreal. Do you know what I mean? Because uh -huh. like, right. um, it, it's just look at here's the fact: like, the Today Show would never have me on. Mm -hmm. A couple of clowns were angry about the film. You know, they really weren't that upset. Right. But like, you know, it snowballed into me finally getting a booking on the Today Show uh -huh. with Katie Kirk and a real clown. And I'm like going, and he's like, "Hey, how you doing? I'm a big fan." I go, "Oh, thanks, thanks for being on the show." And I go, by the way, when we get out in the air, I'm going to tell you a new ass. I'm going to be like pro wrestling. And Katie Kirk, who's never seen my act, is going, would you please be serious? And I'm going, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're interviewing me and a clown. What, right. did you lose a bet? <laughs> was a clown in the uh, clown Clowns in full drag? makeup. Yeah, yeah oh, the yeah. line that made him snap was, I said, uh, Nobody thinks you're funny. The only reason you perform in hospitals is because that's one place a kid can't get up and run away from you. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice. Well, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, and I, I actually said good things about your work in the past. Did you really? I did. I... In Burglar, which is a movie that I hated. I thought you were the funniest thing in the movie, well, which thanks. wasn't saying much, but it was you know, <laughs> Whoopi thanks. Goldberg movie. Ow. Look at the rest of the back of your hand off my no, face no, no, here. No, you know. Now, here's, well, look at here. Now, I, look at you got Rush Limbaugh. Plug in your book. On the paperback edition. Yeah, now yeah. come on. I mean, yes. when I think Steve of... Steve Allen on the back. Steve Allen on the back. Come yeah. on, when I think of ethics and morality, Rush Limbaugh is the first name that pops <laughs> up in my mind. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not writing about ethics and morality. I'm writing about an industry that's, <clears throat> that's out of... Well, I read the wrong book. <laughs> no, no. In fact, I don't think I use the term morality once in the book. What I'm, what I'm writing about is an industry that's out of touch with America. And, and I really believe that an awful lot of movies that are made aren't there to, you know, sort of connect with anybody. They aren't even there to make money very intelligently. And I think the reason the book's gotten people so angry is not because I say there are a lot of lousy movies. I mean, everybody's known that for a long time. I say that people are not only lousy filmmakers, they're also lousy businessmen. They're not responding intelligently to the public. Yeah, I mean, the point of the book, well, not the point. The yeah. uh, thing you touch on is the fact that when people make a movie, they're trying to be pretentious, to try and to, like, mm -hmm. have their peers enjoy their work. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that that's the, the role of the anti... When someone makes a film about an anti-hero, I think that's really good. Like, mm -hmm. here's, here's where the be. first time you made me snap. I was watching you uh, go up on Sid and Nancy. Uh -huh. 
Because it was... You, yeah. Me? No, I gave it a good review. Oh, man. Somebody I else. got the wrong guy. You, no, <laughs> really, on that one... I'm, I owe you an apology. No, on that one, I, I, I've never gone off on... Can we get Jeffrey Lyons? <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy partner, I wanted to smack. My partner. No, so you, you probably wanted to smack me, but the, the thing is that, you know... I, Why do you think... You can't <laughs> celebrate that fact. You know, I'm looking at a guy and I'm thinking, you got a lot of wedgies. <laughs> wedgies? Yeah, you know, when kids pull your underwear up to the back of your pants. Even at Yale, maybe. Right. Okay, we'll be right back with more Michael Medved and myself on the Dirtbag Crossfire. We'll be right back after this commercial. Yeah, hi, this is Bobcat. We will need detective services. Where are you doing this show from, anyway? Live from a mafia headquarters. Um, before the show's over, I want you two to hug. I just felt really uncomfortable about that whole thing. Uh, Florence uh, and Mike is together. Uh, Michael. Uh, Michael. Old friend. Oh, yeah. You need a helping hand. <laughs> you know, look, I, we are the world. We are. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd have that opportunity, Florence. But, you know, Give me a hug, will you? Hey, oh, oh, this is healing. Oh, this is good. This is, yeah. This is really you know, this is the kind of uplift that this Hollywood needs. This is the kind of show that, yeah, me already. You know, you were right. Our movies do suck. <laughs> Did you really think people were going to say that, though? Did you really think the Hollywood community would go, hey, this guy's got a point? Like Martin no, Scorsese is going, know what? I should do a good screwball comedy. I'll, I'll tell you, I thought, I thought that a lot of people would say what they've said, which is that we were unbalanced in the industry until very recently with too many R films, not enough films aimed at families. And all of a sudden, my book came out in November in hardcover. You hear people, heads of studios, Mark Canton, saying that what Hollywood needs to do is make more PG pictures, which they're doing and making well, money. I don't know, I, 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 maybe your book had a little to do with that, but I think uh, Home Alone had a lot to do with that. It, well, it did, but you see, I got I got Can I, I say like, something about that? I found offensive. Who was the movie where they killed uh, him? Which killed who? They killed the Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Died, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My girl. Some my girl. Said, well, look at we we leave the kid alone. We make two hundred million dollars. Let's kill the little bastard. That ought to make a lot of bread. Yeah, and I, I hated that picture, too. I took but... my kids to it, and they go, Mac's dead. Yeah. Oh, we got one minute to go to the commercial. Boy, I had so many questions. Did you read the Joe McBride Capra book while you signed this? Yes, I did. What did you make of that? You know, I thought he was too hard on Capra. I mean, I'm a big <laughs> Capra yeah, fan. Yeah, obviously. I'm a big Capra fan, and I still think he's a great person, and I, I think that a lot of his interpretation of the book, I disagree with. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm being concise, on... right? Yeah, I know. Oh, the T-shirt, we're going to go to a, a random stranger is just going to get it. There's no contest in it. And I'm going to line five, and oh, you're, the, you you're, the, five. you're the winner of the shirt. Hello, five! You're the winner of the shirt. What's your name? Um, Andy. Andy? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, who is your target audience, really? <laughs> um, hang up. Okay, I will not hang up. Andy, you want a shirt signed by Hollywood versus America. Oh, there, sorry, a lot of phlegm on you. You got me so excited. <laughs> Yeah. Moana, Moana, thanks for being on our show. And Michael, thank you very much for coming on the show. Hey, it's always a pleasure. Hey, what about yourself? How about our boss, oh, Tom? Nice. That's See, pretty this, impressive. This is a one talk show that's really constructive. It's right? very constructive talk show. Do you need any work done at your house? <laughs> Perhaps um, all the time. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> like a bulletproof mess. <laughs> right. No one's going to get liquored up and drive by your house and toss bottles in there all night. <laughs>